In recent weeks, play to state has been frequent in the news, but for the very wrong reasons. Investigation into the gruesome murder of General Al-Khali and its revelation no doubt paints the state in bad light. When President Muhammadu Buhari Tuesday hosted the leadership of the Church of Christ in Nigeria, Kokin, the governor and the minister of youth and sport who hailed from the state were also in attendance. Speaking to newsmen after the meeting which had behind closed door, the governor faulted community and religious leaders for shielding criminal elements. I said, if you want to bring peace, if you want to, if you want to ensure there is peace in your place, community leaders and religious leaders must also come out to expose criminals within their domain. Mm -hmm. But when they commit crime and community leaders or religious leaders fight to protect them, that is when we have problems. If they had exposed the, 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 the killers of uh, Al-Khali earlier, many things would have been solved. But there you have community leaders. There you have religious leaders who claim to be religious, who claim to be community leaders, hiding criminals. They may not like me, but that is what I am doing. I have charged them and I said, yes, you want government to work. If I catch you, if I catch, if you get this thing in your domain, you will hold the traditional ruler responsible. He added that it took resilience and determination on his part for the investigation into the general's killing to be successful. Even when they were doing investigation, people were shouting, I said, this investigation will be taken to the, to, the, to the latter. Otherwise, in some places, they will say, Governor, stop. I said, no, I will not stop. They must investigate and find out those who killed the general and other people that were slaughtered on that road. So by this, they are beginning to expose the reason for some of the crisis. And I always appeal that in a society like Plateau, we must learn to live together. When the clergymen came out to address the press, they resolved that the sports minister, Solomon Dalong, speaks for them. How government should also make haste to address the relocation of people displaced by crisis and the call on the president to step up measures of protection of lives and properties. And the president in his response, acknowledge that the presentation of the church and the details was heart touching. He said the religious leaders also assured President Muhammadu Buhari that they would redouble effort towards restoring peace on the plateau. Despite recent events and some world trading, many believe that for Plato State to return back to its original identity as the home of peace, many persons will need to put the past behind them and forge ahead towards a better state. From the Asorok Presidential Villa, Amikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.